Welcome, child. The Holy Order of Pontifex welcomes you. You seek knowledge. We seek those who listen. You seek light. We seek those lost in the dark. You seek escape. We seek those who are not free. As you can see, we are you, and you are us. Now come, join us, find order within the Holy Pontifex. You are blind, we will help you see. Don't fret, child, we will come to you. The Holy Order of Pontifex had stretched their hand out and seized large masses of the southern territories, even defeating the Xenon in the faulty logic systems to their south. With the Xenon gone, the Holy Order was able to use their forces elsewhere and surged into the contested sector Second Contact to Flashpoint, destroying any Argon forces and stations in the area. My scouts reported that the Holy Order even launched a campaign against the God Realm of the Paranid, which held territory to the east of the Holy Order, seizing some of Poyas Mist too. The Holy Order of Pontifex, however, was unsatisfied with their growth, and continued looking for new systems to add to their own. After the conflicts between the Argon and the Holy Order of Pontifex, which I was luckily able to put a hold on, a Cold War had broken out between the two factions. Due to this, both sides began consolidating their forces near the border of Argon Prime and Second Contact to Flashpoint, waiting to strike at one another, and I for the most part just stayed uninvolved, watching. However, I did not sit stagnant. I did not want to see the Holy Order push into my territory or the Argons. While I knew I could not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Holy Order in an outright fight, I knew I could however support the Argon who could. Instead of fighting in the war, which would be costly and bad for business, I would use and support the Argon by constructing a ship fabrication bay at my station in Argon Prime, turning it into a ship wharf the Argon could use. My hope was since their wharf was always running low on supplies, my wharf would be utilized allowing fleet growth, while also padding my pockets. No one ever said war wasn't profitable. But to get the wharf up and running was a hurdle amongst itself. Anyone who has played this game can tell you a ship fabrication bay requires a copious amount of resources not only to be built but also to construct ships with. This would require ship thrusters, engine, weapons, shields, and many more blueprints. Also, resources to build such wares as well as a workforce to crew the constructed ships, plus drones to construct all this. Luckily, I had many of these needed modules to help in ship construction, so I began adding them to my station. However, all this construction would take time, money, and resources, which was a finite commodity at this moment. My plan was to bunker in and get my wharf constructed. With its construction, the Argon would then be able to construct ships and hopefully deal with the Holy Order of Pontifex so I wouldn't have to. This was a gamble though, because if I constructed the wharf and it went unused, I would be financially ruined. The money I used on the wharf could create a fleet that could have stood against the Holy Order. But beside it not being used by the Argon, I had another fear, my ultimate fear which would be if the Holy Order attacked before the wharf was completed. This would be awful and detrimental, leaving me in a system controlled by a faction I was openly defiant to. As I waited, I began creating a fleet of mining and trading ships to help with the progression of my wharf. But almost on cue, as my ships began working for my station, cock raiding parties began coming out of the woodwork attacking Argon Prime. I have spent countless hours in Argon Prime and had never seen the cock here. Yet when my mining ships began mining in very well known, friendly locations, cock would arrive, attacking my ships relentlessly. 
With my finances low after investing in the wharf and ships, I could not afford to lose any of these ships. At this point, I would be unable to replace them, and they were paramount to my wharf's construction and functionality. So I pulled my expeditionary fleet in, which was nearby scouting the Holy Order of Pontifex fleet's movements, and I had them come in to deal with the cock. Luckily, my expeditionary fleet was able to make quick work of the cock raiding parties. I then left them in the area in a protective stance in order to attack anything that harassed my miners. I then made the choice to pull my first fleet from Hatikva's Choice 1 to take their defensive position and relieve them. While the expeditionary fleet was not defenseless and could pack a punch, combat was not their main directive, and they were better suited to continue watching and keeping track of the Holy Order's movements. With the cock raiding problem kinda under control, things began to smooth out. My station began to be constructed and operations continued a lot like normal, yet I knew this piece was too good to be true, and soon my fears began to manifest. The Holy Order of Pontifex must have caught wind to my plan and sent a strike force into Argon Prime. While the Holy Order strike force was small and consisted of only a handful of large ships, a supply ship, and support craft, they knew my fleet was tied up with the defenses against the cock. They also knew I would not risk open war against them since my reputation was so low with them. Plus, financially, I could do nothing to bolster my numbers. I was vulnerable. So the Holy Order of Pontifex strike force flew straight through the center of Argon Prime, destroying the weakened Argon defenses. The Argon did not stand a chance, their forces were depleted from constant warfare, and what few ships they did have were destroyed. All I could do was just watch as the Argon Wharf was crushed under the Holy Order's fleet. My only hope was now for my wharf to complete, otherwise the Argon would surely fall, and fall soon. Breaking news from Hatikva's Choice 1. Another Xenon attack occurred in Hatikva's Choice today. Thanks to Gon Industries defense platform the Leonidas' construction, many inhabitants can rest easy knowing that they are protected by those brave frontline soldiers on the border, keeping the Xenon from attacking our homes. We are lucky enough to procure some footage from the latest Xenon push. Keep in mind the footage you are about to see may be disturbing to watch. Although lives were lost during the attack on the Leonidas, the defense platform was not helpless during the Xenon push. Those who manned the defense platform Leonidas' battlements were veterans to past Xenon attacks and managed to stand firm. So after the attack by a Class I destroyer and small Xenon craft, the brave men and women of the defense platform Leonidas managed to destroy it in such a fiery blaze that some say they could see the explosion all the way over here at the Atikva's Free League trading station. So thank you again to the brave Gon industry men and women of the defense platform Leonidas. You are in our hearts and minds constantly. Now, to no plaque with the weather. The Argon had managed to muster a small fleet from the surrounding systems, and sent it in as an attempt to counter the Holy Order strike force. 
The two sides skirmished with one another, until eventually no Argon ships were left and only a single Holy Order of Pontifex attack ship survived. The Holy Order of Pontifex ship began to get ballsy though, and pushed close to my station, attacking the Argon station neighboring my almost completed wharf. I do not know if it was on purpose or by mistake, but as this Holy Order of Pontifex ship attacked the Argon station near my wharf, it began lobbing the odd shot at the Argon construction vessel working on my wharf, which caused me to start cautiously moving my fleet closer. I could just imagine their smug faces, thinking they were untouchable. I wouldn't risk attacking them. Yet, when one of those shots they were lobbing at the construction vessel struck and destroyed a small portion of my station, I'm sure their faces turned from smugness to complete panic as my fleet unleashed every inch of firepower it possessed on their ship. Within moments, the Holy Order of Pontifex ship crumbled and exploded. The Holy Order of Pontifex had gone too far. They thought they could crush my plans and my advancements by harassment and not attacking me directly, cutting my supply lines and my construction. But now, I only saw red. I wanted to make the Holy Order pay. The fleet was ordered in to strike a Holy Order defense platform just to the east of my wharf. An eye for an eye. My fleet was able to cause mass damage to the Holy Order of Pontifex defense platform, but I had to cut my attack short and call my fleet back to the wharf due to an unforeseen complication. The Holy Order was back, and with another strike force, this time double the size of the first strike group. So my fleet, which was now consisting of 26 ships after losing two fighters in the attack, pushed back towards my wharf. Their fleet paused just out of firing range of my wharf. As my fleet circled my wharf in a protective circle, chills could be felt as both sides stared each other down. This could be it, the ignition of the war. Thousands would fall, systems destroyed, each crew member waiting for that order to fire. The Holy Order of Pontifex Strike Force then turned and slowly headed back to the gate. War would not break out today but all knew it was inevitable. I placed sanctions on the Holy Order of Pontifex. No trade was to take place between Gaon Industries and the Holy Order. Although this limited my funds in their territory, I could not feel comfortable allowing my trade with them to feed their insatiable hunger for expansion. And now with the completion of my wharf and ship purchase taking place from the Argon, I knew my funding issue would soon halt. I was able to find another Holy Order ship abandoned, which I sent to be repaired. I also constructed a new fighter from my new wharf to celebrate its construction. Both ships were assigned to the first fleet, bringing my fleet numbers back up to 28 ships strong. Before long, the wharf began working just as planned. Not only was the Argon Federation buying up fighters and medium ships left and right, but so was the Antigon Republic, a close ally of the Argon Federation another Argon faction. They were sometimes known to conduct joint military operations, and this became apparent as the Antigon began attacking a Holy Order station with ships constructed from my station within Argon Prime. Argon fleets began again emerging within Argon Prime, fresh from my wharf, causing the Holy Order of Pontifex to pull completely out of the system, leaving the stations they had constructed in Argon Prime to the whims of the new Argon ships. Yet war still loomed on the horizon. I had given the Argon a fighting chance. They now had the capabilities to defend themselves and strike out if needed. But my wharf only built small and medium sized ships. And I feared the Argon would only be able to go so far with such capabilities. So I traveled north to the most northern sectors of space to a faction that I had recently became close allies with. All Cold Wars have their secret weapons. 
and as we neared possible all-out war, I knew I would soon need mine. Thank you for watching, despite if I want it or not, it looks like war is coming. This video really didn't have a lot of exciting combat in it, which comes with the territory of X4. Sometimes you go hours just working on logistics and never get into combat, which is honestly okay by me. However, speaking of combat, the Argon now have a chance with my readily supplied wharf. Even towards the end, they actually built back their wharf, but still used mine due to to it always having supplies. I just worry that the Holy Order of Pontifex will charge in with their countless ships before the Argon are ready. I need to have a way to deal with that, because the Argon are not out of hot water yet. My defense platform Leonidas continues to just work like a charm. After defeating the Class I on its own with no help, I am confident in its abilities to deal with anything coming out of Xenon space. Oh, and speaking of Xenon, some of my scout ships were able to relay that the Xenon have begun focusing on the northern systems like Open Market. After finally destroying the trading station in Anima Sura, what is it, 4 I think? While this doesn't affect me directly, if they succeed, they will be able to push into Profit Center Alpha, the main trading and where construction like hub in known sectors. I'll have to keep an eye on that as well so the economy doesn't crumble altogether as well as the Argon and Holy Order War. With that and the Xenon constantly flooding Hatikva's Choice 1, my hands are definitely full. But with the Leonidas doing its job and the new wharf's construction in Argon Prime, things are starting to look hopeful, finally. Continue to comment, like, and sub. The growth I have had in just the last few weeks have, has just been such a blessing. Being a small channel, each like and sub just goes such a long way, especially in YouTube's like fantastic algorithm. Your comments are awesome. I, I, I really enjoy getting talk to you guys and I, I love the support as well as the good tips someone mentioned starting a discord for x4 so people could come and like nerd out together and share their stories their mods screenshots etc etc all in the same area if that's something you would be interested in please let me know i would gladly figure something out thank you again there's going to be more videos to come just remember love one another care for your neighbor and be safe out there all right peace